What's up everyone, it's Prometheus. And today, like the title and thumbnail say, we're gonna be digging into the Espro Bloom coffee dripper. So I'll be going over my brew method as well as giving it an overall review. This dripper came out of nowhere. I hadn't heard of it and then all of a sudden it was everywhere. And because of my early onset FOMO and constant need to create coffee content, a couple months back, I decided to pick one up. And now after some quality time using the Bloom through a variety of different coffees and roasts, I think I have a pretty solid grasp on it. And of course, the big question that remains and that people have asked is how it measures up to the household names like the Hario V60 and the Kalita Wave. So of course, I'll be giving you my take on all of that plus much more, but first, let's talk about the whole reason it exists, brewing coffee. The Bloom was designed with a faster brew in mind. So the flat bottom microfilter and steeper sides encourages an even flow of water through the bed to avoid choking or slowing the flow. In their official recipe, they recommend using 16 and a half grams of medium fine grind coffee and a basic two pour method with a 50 gram 30 second bloom, followed by the remaining 260 grams of water. And their method did produce a pretty good cup of coffee. It was balanced and sweet with some nice clarity and it even proved to have a pretty solid extraction at over 21% but in true barista form, I couldn't just walk away. So from here, I decided to take the whole brewing process into my own hands and create my own brewing method for the bloom, and I approached it much like the Kalita Wave. First, drop in the filter and give it a rinse. Since these filters have a tendency to bunch up, I usually flush a good amount of water through the bottom and very gently rinse up the sides. Measure out and grind up 16 and a half grams of coffee in a medium coarse setting. For me, it's about 40 to 45 on the niche. It should look something like this. From there, it goes in and it's time to brew. Personally, because I use mostly medium to light roasts, I tend to brew straight off a boil, but that's more or less up to you. Since I'm using a brew ratio of one to 15 and 16 and a half grams of coffee, the total brew weight should be around 248 grams. So the brew is then split into four 62 gram phases. And that includes the bloom, allowing 30 seconds between each pour phase, and all phases should be poured in concentric circles, avoiding hitting the filter. In the end, it should produce a sweet and clean cup with slightly denser flavor and body than the original recipe in about three minutes and 30 seconds. And for those who are number focused, this method produced multiple cups that verged on the edge of 23%. As you likely noticed from their marketing, the Bloom's claim to fame is having a faster brew time than most of the other drippers on the market. Of course, as a coffee nerd, I do love the slow and methodical process of a pour over, and this could easily fall into the con column if it didn't produce a good cup. But when dialed in, it produces some tasty brews really quickly. Also, unlike a lot of other coffee drippers, the Bloom offers the option to use or not use a filter. Of course, each style will require a bit of a change in grind, but it still does make a solid cup of coffee, which may even be more to your liking if you're into increased body and texture over crisp acidity. Lastly, it looks and feels like it's pretty durable and can go the distance. Unlike many of the other drippers out there, at least the ones that I tend to end up with because of my love for glass and ceramics, I don't feel the need to treat it like some kind of priceless artifact. Tragile, it must be Italian. Okay, first we have to talk about these filters. They are the bane of my existence with this dripper, and I know I'm not the only one. Outside of the fact that they are proprietary and generally more expensive than other papers, they are also a pain to separate from their pack. I feel like the time I can save from having a faster brew method is completely negated by the fact that I have to spend so much time removing these filters without crushing all the pleats. After a bit of practice, I got decent at it. It seems carefully separating a small enough section to fit a few fingers between and then working your way around the edges is the best way to get it done. And if you crush a few along the way, they'll generally pop back into place with a little nudge. It also likes to retain some water, which is more noticeable during the flush phase. Most of the time I had a pocket of water that just didn't want to come out and I would have to pour it out from the side. And for those of you who like a heavier bodied brew and want to go without the filter, it's kind of a pain to get those little tiny fines removed from the filter base. I also recommend giving it some time after the brew for the coffee to solidify a bit, and then it should come out just like a puck. If you do it too soon, you'll end up with a mucky mess. The Bloom rides a fine line and it sits right smack dab in the middle between the crisp clarity of a V60 and the nice textured body of a Kalita Wave. So if you're looking for a balance between those two, the Espro Bloom may actually be the perfect dripper for your coffee program. But I think what really makes it stand out is its speed and durability, and it could give the AeroPress a run for its money in terms of a quality travel brewer. 
Anyway, that is my take on the Espero Bloom. Let me know your thoughts if you've had a chance to try it out and what your experience has been like. Also, if you have another dripper that you want to see on the channel, let me know that as well in the comment section down below. And of course, as always, I'll see y'all next week. And of course, a big thank you to my April Patreons, Ads, Jacob P, David W, Christopher, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Lisa, Andre, Sean, Noel, Spookus, Mika, Samantha, Claire, Bound Coffee, Stephen, James K, Josh Horrison, Corey C, Curry, Jeff Roth, Joey N, Thomas B, UK Espresso, Tim, Jason C, Jerry, Matt, Ninja Warrior Coffee, Home Barista Coach, Counseling Memes, Testing 123, Zachary V, Tyler F, Robert Underdunk, Jeffrey R, BJK Cafe, Chris M, Daniel P, Mike B, Brian M, Brandon B, Tyler M, Sebastian, Matthew C, JRC, Absolute, Stephen G, Alex T, Offensive, Jose Lauren and Keefe, and of course a big thank you to the barista and barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And of course, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram at Prometheus for content throughout the week. My blog at Prometheus.com. My coffee at LittleGiant.coffee. And as always, stay caffeinated, Pony Boy.